This week's movie is an action thriller called Peppermint, and I think the best thing I can do to uh, uh, review this movie is just say, avoid it. Pretend you never heard about this. I'll tell you something about it, why it's not worth seeing. But it does star Jennifer Garner. She's trying to make herself over, as, you know, again, as an action hero, rather than a Capital One uh, spokeswoman. And so this gives her a chance to uh, act tough and... Uh, how does she? So here's the setup. At the very beginning of the movie, you know, it's very kind of a, you know, nice and sweet see. She and her husband and their very young daughter, uh, they have this kind of confrontation with another a fellow Girl Scout cookie mom about, oh, this is my territory, not you, yours. And the girl, the, the young girl very innocently says to her mom, Mom, why didn't you punch her lights out? That was, she didn't treat us very nicely. And she explains, honey, if we punch the lights out of every jerk we ran across, we'd be as bad as they are. Okay, mommy, that's the lesson of the movie. No, the lesson of the movie is after that beautiful little daughter and her husband are gunned down right in front of the mom, a uh, character played by Riley North, or named Riley North, played by Jennifer Garner, she decides to throw that out and she becomes maybe not as bad as the murderous thugs in the movie, but she comes back as a hell on earth to destroy and go after anybody and everybody that's connected with the death of her family. This is a straight out revenge vigilante uh, thriller, but the problem is it's sort of uninspired. It just, it's ridiculous and violent with not much ends. Uh, um, here's here's part of the uh, the rooting interest. She's a woman. This is basically taken from. A, but instead of Liam Neeson, you've got Jennifer Garden, uh, Garner. And Taken made a ton of money, so maybe this will too. But I certainly hope not because it's just uninspired uh, through and through. Now, my problem with this is the the whole story is ridiculous. But that's okay because there can be ridiculous movies that are successful. Look at the Tom Cruise Mission Impossible series. That is as ridiculous as ridiculous gets, but it can still be entertaining. Another thing is, this just isn't entertaining. Another thing is, it's a really violent movie, but it's an uncomfortably violent movie that seems to have no energy. There are really ex cinematically exciting movies that are very violent. Look at Tarantino's movies or Sam Peckinpah's movies. There is a kind of an aesthetics of violence, but that is nowhere to be seen. This is an uninspired movie that just kills after kills after kills. It ends up becoming an endurance contest, and as far as I'm concerned, that's no reason to go to the movies, and especially not this one. All of my movie reviews are brought to you by Red Wind Casino. See them here first on the Cairo Radio Facebook page and find all of them at MyNorthwest.com.